Uh, Jackie Dean. Regrettable that um, we do have to protect our most vulnerable members of our community from some people. It is regrettable, but it is also very necessary that we do that. It's not, it is not good enough for us uh, to, at the end of a period of supervision or a finite sentence, simply allow some people, uh, some offenders in New Zealand, to go out in society who we know are at imminent risk of serious, seriously offending against uh, in a, uh, sexual offending against particularly young children and so I support the public safety public protection orders bill and the parole extended supervision orders amendment bill which we are dealing with it is logical to do so as a cognate bill so as these bill, bills do, both deal with managing offenders on their release from prison, uh, it does make sense uh, to deal with them together, although one of them is a civil order and the other is not. One bill manages orders for community supervision that are already in place but will begin expiring next year. And so clearly in order to protect children in particular, these will need to be extended. And the other bill introduces new orders which will keep offenders who pose a very high risk and throughout the committee stages and other, um, other speeches in this House we have examined what very high risk means of imminent serious sexual assault or violent offending and we wish to have those detained at the end of their sentence. So the extended supervision orders are currently used to manage a very small number of child sex offenders who pose a very high risk of serious harm to uh, particularly young people after being released from prison. Um, the Public Protection Orders Bill will empower the High Court to issue a public protection order that will allow the, for detention of a subject and that detention will be in a secure facility. These orders are aimed at people who reach the end of a finite prison sentence and as I said in my opening remarks we simply cannot uh, accept uh, the idea that these people at the end of their finite sentence or at the end of their supervision orders can then go out into society when we know that there is a very high chance of imminent reoffending. Um, less restrictive forms of supervision would almost certainly not prevent their reoffending, and therein is the nub of this argument. So these bills work as a pack package and need to be passed by this House, and I'm pleased to be speaking in the third reading, to ensure there's a maximum management option, and that's a residential option available for very high-risk offenders who reach the, the end of their finite one year of intensive, of intensive monitoring under uh, uh, extended supervision orders. But also, and in the context of uh, some other bills and other matters that, that the Law and Order and Justice Committees have considered, um, require the same judge to consider public protection orders and extended supervision order applications made for the same offenders so that there is consisting in consistency in decision making. Mr Speaker, I'm pleased that the House is supporting this bill so strongly. I think there's a very good understanding mm -hmm. of the need for these bills and I commend these bills to the House.